Hello everyone, this is Maria from MLB Reborns. I just received this package from a new customer that I met on Facebook and her name is Sandra. I will be um, redoing one of her babies and it is a an African-American baby and I'm going to have to strip this baby completely. So I've taken the um, label that had our addresses on it and this is the first time I will be seeing this baby in person. I, I have seen her in pictures but not in person so I don't know what to expect exactly. It's a heavy box so she sent me the entire baby. I will be taking her apart and then stripping her completely and starting over on her and hopefully can make her look better. And then she's going to be a baldy and Sandra, Sandra is going to have her hair rooted by another artist. So. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's in here. I'm excited, but I am extremely nervous about this because um, she is an ethnic baby, which means I will have to do a lot of work just to strip her completely. And she told me she was going to include her eyes, so these must be it. Let me go ahead and get it open so we can take a look at the eyes that she will be wearing. And let's see here. I, my battery is running low. Let me go ahead and figure this out really quick before I go on otherwise I might lose connection so here we go okay so back to the eyes let's take a look here and see what eyes she chose and let's see she said she packaged them really well to make sure they made it here safely okay so these are the eyes she used, or she wants, and I've never worked with these type of eyes. They are the oval kind, not the round kind, so I don't know if they will fit in the eye socket. Like I said, I've never used these before. I did try once before and they just swam inside the eye sockets so we'll have to figure out what to do with the eyes and see if I can somehow get them to fit and get them to stay maybe if I can glue them in maybe somebody has an idea and can enlighten me on how to use these oval eyes <clears throat> on a reborn I've seen them before but when I tried to use them, it just didn't work. So if anybody knows, please help me out and let me know what to do with that. And let me go ahead and take the baby out. And this is the Morris kit, and she is heavy. And let's take a look. And she is big. I can already tell this is a big baby. Look at her. She's already cute and I have not even taken her apart. And I'm going to remove her sleeper and one of the things that Sandra mentioned is the fact that um, this baby looks red and I don't know if, if the camera picks it up but I 
sea orange okay to me she looks very very orange and you know I have really bad lighting in this room but she's orange and she is not varnished and one of the things that she did show me was how bad her hands are if you can see where it goes from the ethnic skin tone to the lighter palms and there is a very defined line all the way around and that goes for all of her fingers as well as her feet look at that line see this line right here this should blend into the foot without having that harsh line there let me see if I can find my little Ella kit um, I know I have her limbs in here somewhere let me find them so I can show you I mean she's a she's a younger baby so when they're firstborn I've noticed that their their feet are lighter but you can tell right here there's not a stark line where the dark ends and the light begins it just kind of blends from one color to the next and she has a lot of creases so it's hard to tell but when you compare the two that's the difference so yeah this baby definitely needs to be redone and here are let me see where's the other one this is Ella's hand see how you can't tell where the dark skin tone begins and her lighter skin tone begins and where the dark ends that's blending you're blending the colors so that there's no harsh line so this is Ella's hand okay so let's go ahead and take the diaper off move her over so you can all see her and there she is oh oh look at her oh she's so cute and she has um, applied lashes so I will be removing the eyelashes and redoing her from head to toe and it's going to be quite a job look at the inside of her nose she just uh, she has areas that are not painted at all and there's just like a dot right inside her no nostrils where the paint was applied and I think you can pick that up. So she's a very orange baby. And I don't know what this line is about. So yeah, I'm going to have to strip her. Strip the entire kit. Take her apart. Strip the kit. And start from scratch. And she doesn't have anything inside her head. Her head is not weighted. But she is a really cute kit. Look at the bottoms of her feet. There's a blotchiness right there, like a streaking of paint that was never taken off, wiped off. And there's no creasing on her feet at all. There's no creasing on the toes. There's no creasing in the hands. So, yeah, this baby needs help, and I hope I can do it justice because the kit itself is so adorable. 
I mean, I love this baby. I love that kit. I love the way her upper lip, she has like a little bit of a overbite and it's so cute. All right, ladies, well, thank you so much for watching. And I know what you're all going to tell me that I'm crazy for doing this job, but you know, I love challenges. So this baby is definitely going to test my ability to strip and redo. Wish me luck. Thanks. Bye, everybody.